some 5,952 trillion kilometres away in the constellation of Orion lies Betelgeuse, a red supergiant that could explode any moment from now. This brewing danger has captured the attention of the highest ranked NASA officials who fear that our home planet might be caught in the crossfire of this impending explosion. But how true could this be? Join us in today's video as we reveal NASA's chief warning about the imminent explosion of the Betelgeuse galaxy. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has reignited fears of a possible nuclear attack. Sure, everyone knows nukes are scary, but what about a massive explosion that could wipe out our entire solar system? Enter Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star that's about to blow up like a Hollywood diva on a bad day. Astronomers say it's one of the biggest stars in the galaxy, and it's so bright you don't even need a telescope to sight it. Betelgeuse's brightness ranges from 0 to plus 1.6, which makes it the second brightest star in Orion and the 10 brightest in the whole sky. But here's the kicker. Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, and when it does, it'll light up the night sky like a disco ball on steroids. We're talking about an explosion so big, it'll make the atomic bomb look like a party popper. And the worst part? We can't do anything about it. We can't stop it or even slow it down. Betelgeuse is a single star, hence scientists refer to it as a rebel star, a loner, a runaway who refused to be associated with any star system. In terms of age, Betelgeuse is quite young. It's only about 10 million years old, meaning it's much younger than our sun, which is around 5 billion years old. But despite its youth, Betelgeuse has proven to be a fast learner. It evolved faster than the average star, consuming fuel at an incredible rate that would make your head spin. But why is this so? You see, massive stars like Betelgeuse need a lot of fuel to keep shining. And of course, we know this red supergiant is a galactic celestial element. Betelgeuse is about 1,000 times larger than our sun. If you swapped it with our sun, it would be like replacing a ping pong ball with a beach ball. For perspective, if you replaced our sun with Betelgeuse, its diameter would stretch past the asteroid belt and even beyond all the existing terrestrial planets, including Earth. But then again, size isn't everything. So while Betelgeuse is a giant, it is also lightweight, at least to some extent. This red supergiant only weighs about 16 and a half times more than our sun and has around 126,000 solar luminosities, meaning it is bright enough to be seen from 548 light years away. Its surface temperature is estimated to be around 3,600 Kelvin, which is much lower than the temperature of our sun. Due to its incredible brightness, Betelgeuse is quite easy to spot. In some cases, astronomers use it to locate other stars within the Orion constellation. Depending on where you reside on Earth, sighting Betelgeuse shouldn't be a difficult task. Astronomers around the Northern Hemisphere can spot the red supergiant during the winter or between January and April. But despite the intriguing features of Betelgeuse, astronomers worry that all of it could be destroyed if the pulsating red supergiant goes up in flames. Recent observation shows that Betelgeuse has used up its main nuclear fuel, and it's only a matter of time before it gets to the end of its life cycle. When this happens, it is expected to explode as a supernova, and eventually end up either as a neutron star or perhaps a black hole. Although it sounds very basic, the transition process of Betelgeuse from a red supergiant to becoming a neutron star or black hole is expected to be complex. For a start, the fumes from the explosion will light up the skies brighter than any other celestial element, with the exception of the Sun. Even worse, our Earth could be affected by this phenomenon. Generally, any supernova explosion within a few tens of light years of us will most likely have disastrous implications for human life on Earth. For instance, if a nearby galaxy like Alpha Centauri goes supernova, our home planet will definitely be affected. The explosion will shine as bright as the moon, and all types of radiation will be emitted into our atmosphere. Back in 2019, astronomers discovered that the red supergiant Betelgeuse has been mysteriously dimming for several months. 
Expectedly, the sentiment among the public was quite worrying, and many feared that the star could undergo a vicious explosion called a supernova. During the first five months of 2019, amateur observations showed Betelgeuse actually got slightly brighter. While in the last five months, the star dimmed dramatically, NASA wrote on its website. Such variability is likely just normal behaviour for this famously variable supergiant. But the recent dimming has rekindled discussion on how long it may be before Betelgeuse does go supernova. In continuation of its statement, the team described Betelgeuse as a beacon in the night sky for stellar observers. However, they quickly reiterated how quickly it became dim. As of 2020, Betelgeuse is estimated to have risen to around 36% of its normal brightness. In fact, the unusual change is evident even to the naked eye. But more than anything else, it reminds us that like other supergiants, this one will eventually go supernova. Scientists and astronomers at the ESO argued that the dimming was unlikely to be caused by an imminent explosion. But apparently, not everyone seems to agree with their opinion. The last time a supernova occurred within our galaxy was way back in 1604. But in 1987, astronomers got a reminder of what a supernova explosion looks like when a large cloud of Magellan went up in flames. The debris produced spread across 169,000 light years from where the original explosion occurred. Obviously, the location of the event meant it was too far for Earthlings to feel anything. However, an experienced selenographer claims that the story could have been much different if the explosion happened inside a range of 100 light years from Earth. Based on this belief, it's safe to say that even if the Betelgeuse red supergiant eventually explodes as predicted, we wouldn't have anything to worry about. However, any outburst from the Alpha Centauri would certainly mean bad news for our planet. Thankfully, Alpha Centauri has been certified as a non-supernova candidate, simply because it doesn't have enough mass to support such a massive explosion. But that's not to say we are safe. In fact, on the contrary, there are several other naked eye stars that cosmic scientists have identified as potential supernova candidates. This includes Ada Carina in the Kiel region of the constellation Argo Navis. Aside from being ridiculously massive, this star is also quite unstable. Sometime in 1843, Ada Carina shone so brightly that it was regarded as the second brightest star in the sky, only behind Sirius. However, for more than a century, it has crossed over to the fringe of visibility to the naked eye and largely radiates at infrared wavelengths. Ada Carina generates about a million times as much energy as the Sun. So rather than asking if it will ever go supernova, the question should be, when will it go supernova? Well, astronomers aren't too sure about how to answer this tricky question. As far as we know, it could happen a million years from now, but it could also happen in the next second. It all depends on the natural forces acting within it. The other supernova candidate that's giving scientists sleepless nights is Rho Cassiopeia. Located just outside the W pattern of Cassiopeia and not too far from the second magnitude, Beta Cassiopeia, this star is a yellow supergiant. It shines somewhere above the fifth magnitude and is sandwiched between two other stars, namely Tau and Sigma Cassiopeia. According to Patrick Moore, a former presenter of The Sky at Night on the BBC, this hypergiant occasionally fades to below the sixth magnitude, but more often than not, it doesn't last long enough at this level. According to astronomers, the luminosity of this star is about half a million times that of our Sun. But thankfully, it is located farther out in space than both Betelgeuse and Ada Carina, so we can say for a fact that we are out of its danger zone. And unless something ridiculous happens, humans will be safe from all the radiation that will be emitted during the explosion.